Hello everyone, and welcome to Church's Game. Today we are playing Sally Face. So let's get started. <laughs> It was just like the last time, only this time, it started in a hospital. Oh dear. Light switch, door. Answer the phone. Sure, I'll answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. A key. Great. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. Did I just come out of a brick wall? Yes, that didn't work. Let's just let's just go down the line then I suppose. Maybe we should think about this logically. If there's a way to think about it logically. Dog? Am I spelling something with the letters? Dog? Dog! Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Oh dear. Okay. Land for sure, mother. Better climb down. It's locked. Of course it is. Passcode. I don't have a passcode yet. I, I okay, I killed it. Dad, is that you? Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Uh, I'm Sally, right? I'm, am, am I not? Am I a boy? I thought I was a girl. This is your fault. Mom? Hi, Mom. I think. Probably Mom. Are you... look very dead. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? So what, do I just casually wear this mask? It's in the bags. Just some stuff that I got from the store, nothing important. Gotta use the bathroom before I get, you know, started on all that. Sleep aid? I don't need any sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after night. Huh, okay. Hmm. Leave? Sal's room, that's me. Gizmo. I see you finally made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. 
glad I move fairly quickly in this game, because you know me, I click on everything. Hey, kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea, we've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone will be lucky to have, a, have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Trying to get into too much trouble. <laughs> ah, you know me. I never get into trouble. Let's go. <laughs> Hello? Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumble grumble. You don't have to be so mean, dude. Dude was hostile before. No one's home. Okay. Dude was hostile before I said anything. Come on. Let's go up. Let's go up first. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors in a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Yeah, that was odd, wasn't it? Also locked. Also locked. Oh boy. Creepy. Let's go down to three. One's home. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and run it. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. <sighs> You're quite welcome. Dust. Two or three. No one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbor. Okay, come in. Oh no. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. Who the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know, young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir, not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. So, yep, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a vid visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. As in never, I bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. 
You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? My God, child. <laughs> Have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Regret. Instant regret. Instant regret, and I have to go. I have to go. Oh, yeah, I am never going back there, ever. You couldn't pay me. Goodbye. Adios. No one's home. Mm, I guess no one is home. Someone was definitely home, right? You guys heard that, right? Like a saw and maybe even a, like a laugh or a muffle, some knocking. There was, there was some stuff going on in there. Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, pardon me. Let's start it. Oh, that's a, that's a man. Hello, young sir, a new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. You know, not as creepy as Charlie. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. By then, so long. Can't even tell me if it was murder or not. <sighs> no one's home. And finally, someone is home. Oh, no. Mrs. Gibson. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Er, stupid good for nothing kids, grumble, grumble. Well, uh, I uh, reckon I'll just keep going then. I reckon I'll go home. Well, I checked out the neighborhood, Dad. Hello, kiddo. See ya. Uh, I mean, that's it. Checked out the neighborhood. There's not much else for me to do. Um. I was wondering where that was. I didn't even mean to do that. My gear boy looks like I need new batteries, so. Okay. I guess I'm still exploring the building. Here's something. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another, but you will hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. So, do you know anything about what happened in 4 or 3? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. 
Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two are good along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. See you around. Could go down to the basement, but you know, let me do a once over and make sure I didn't miss anything with anybody else, alright? I am well aware of Charlie. I don't need to go talk to Charlie again. I will not go talk to Charlie again. You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. What will this torture end? Grumble, grumble. One more, one more time. Yeah, she's, she's not talking. She's mad. She's mad. To the basement! Ayo! Laundry. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. was that? Larry's room, huh? Let's go check out Lisa's room. It's locked, of course it is. Let's go check out Larry's room. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. The door's open. Oh, he's an artist, among other things. Whoa, a nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad. New, uh, from, Jer from New Jersey. Sally face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh. That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we got to, got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. Ha 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 ha. It's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. So what happened in 4 or 3? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? 
Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast that when he cleaned up quickly and left, uh, I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't he tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him. I leave his room. Always talks to his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Ooh, yeah, well, that made... What's this thing? That's a, it's a police scanner. I could listen in on a local, on local cop ch chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak in the 403. Maybe we could find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation. That should clear out cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes till they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch to bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little bit more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here. Take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Alright, so firstly, I want to go get some of that special tea that adults like, apparently. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Addison T, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. There you are, sir, please enjoy. I want to try it myself. Nope, not drinking it. But I have it now. Now let's see here. You ready? Gotta get to my room first. Call me once you get there. Oh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do it right in front of the police officer. I feel like that's a bad call. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. We're gonna make the call, give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into room four or three now. Let's do this. Oh, this is a murder scene. Examine, there's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything, look like anything important. Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. These little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm, that's it. I know how we can get them. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super wear, wear one or something. She was telling me about it and that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. 
that dude always gives me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks? Fucking fatty. Alright, alright. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Huh. <laughs> uh, nah. I just watch too much TV. It's a rough, rough time, dude. All right, uh, he lives on the second floor. There's no sneaking into this guy's room. You just kind of have to walk in. Oh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. You jack my tea. Ah, uh, so tasty, so relaxing. He's asleep now. Ah, uh, must have dozed off for a second there. Hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, so I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Uh, okay. Quest. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How many of servants? Addison T, please. Thank you. So this Addison T is clearly some, like, knockout drug type thing. from Madison. Wonderful. Ah, uh, so relaxing. I uh, must have dozed off for a second there. Hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, so I'm starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Hey, if you got more out of some tea, I'd love more. Hey, come downstairs. All right. Oh, I, you know what? I think I know exactly what I'm going to have to do. This guy's going to tell me. But whoa, before he tells me, let me... I'm going to take some of my dad's sleeping pills. And I'm going to put them in the Addison T for that guy. He's going to conk out and I'm going to take the pony. Bam. I gave Charlie some of Addison's tea. Great idea. I bet that put him right to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. Hmm, if only we could make it stronger somehow. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chuck put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one of my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Play that Sanity's Fall song again? Sure. Some more tea, firstly. You get some more tea. Oh, hello. Hey. Whoa, um, hey. I'm Sal, just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug. Oh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. How'd you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Do you think this building is haunted? Why, do you see something too? Yeah, I think so. 
knew it. I'm not crazy. I knew I'm not crazy. Huh. So you seen that old man? Old man. No, I think that's just some crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than just that old bum. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl. I thought it was the homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I use my key to unlock the bathroom, to, to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key. But maybe you could trade me something for it. If you let me borrow that key, I could give you, um... Gear Boy. I'll let you borrow my Gear Boy. Nah, no, I have one of them. I could take candy or money from the snack machine. Got anything like that? No, I don't. But I know where to find it. Tea. How do you feel about Addison's tea? Yup, that stuff is the worst. I prefer sweet and chocolatey things. Walkie talkie. Would you trade for this walkie talkie? Isn't that hilarious? I can't take that. That's true. Be right back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, firstly, I need to go to my room. And. Oh, well, not my room, but my house. I need to go in Dad's room. Check. At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze. Not totally giving on, on life. On me. Hey, a quarter. Score. That's good. Heck yes, here, take it. Nice. Alright, so I'll go up to five. Is anyone in here? It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. Sure, my name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Huh, whoever said that only girls can wear their hair or pigtails? I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why are you crying before? Everyone always runs from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here all along. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Hello, little girl. Are you still here? Huh. Oh, relax. Gross. Don't have any use for this. Yet. Oh, hey, dude. Chug, what are you doing up here? Asking myself that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am. But you were gone for so long, I needed to check on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. I don't really like this room. Well, let's get out of here, shall we? Got it mixed in. Yeah, got that other cup of Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today, as surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here.
Ah, this is better than his original. I don't know how he got the toy. The score. Nothing else useful here. Just an old man's creepy pony collection. for sure. Got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal, I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. All you need to do is give it to the detective and it'll all be over. Yeah. We're gonna die. Mr. Detective, man. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys, and that's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Ah, uh, well, well. A little detective in training, huh? Ha, <laughs> ha, not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come with us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it. I can leave the entire building now. Let's see what's out here. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Hey, look who it is in the car. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. No one was around, so I looked in the back of the window of the van. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend through all high school. And after high school, we've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait, I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Holy cow! I guess that's Sally face. Uh, that was great. That was great. Edgy. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, it looks like there are more episodes to this game uh, in the form of DLC. So maybe I will get around to the DLC in you know the, a future day. But right now uh, I am finished. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and yeah. Goodbye.